In the last couple of videos, we've learned how to call Azure, uh, call OpenAI APIs, OpenAI LLMs using OpenAI APIs and LangChain APIs. In this particular video, we'll learn how we can track our usage cost, our, our token usage, uh, so that uh, we don't run out of tokens unnecessarily. <clears throat> So what I've done here is I've imported another API, another package called Langchain underscore community, uh, which I'll show you here. Uh, I activated my virtual environment and then I just ran pip install Langchain community. This is needed for you to run this particular script. And then I just started JupyterLab in the same virtual environment. Once that is done, uh, here I imported callbacks from Langchain community. Uh, uh, get OpenAI callback is what I imported. And then similarly, I'm using chat OpenAI to interact with our GPT 4O model, right? Chat OpenAI class. Sim uh, similar to last videos, uh, if you see here, I created an LLM object. In this case as well, I've done the same. Now in the last video, when we invoked uh, LLM, when we call the invoke method, we passed a message uh, type object. Now, instead of messages type object, you can even pass just a string of what you want to want uh, that particular uh, LLM to do. So that's what I've done here. I've ran LLM.invoke and I've asked the LLM to translate this English word. What is the English word? Programming to French. Now, and then I've printed the callback. Uh, so the API that we imported, get OpenAI callback. I've used it here. Um, and then <clears throat> I've just printed the, um, uh, the instance of it, the CB instance of it, right? And when I run it, I see what number of tokens were used and whether the request was successful or not. And what was the total cost of that particular uh, entire request, inclu uh, including all the tokens that were used. So this is how you can keep track of how many tokens you're using in each request. This would be important uh, because uh, this is not free, right? OpenAI LLMs that we are using, we, we are paying for it by, by recharging our account. That's where uh, we are able to use GPT-40. If you want to use GPT-3.5 Turbo, you would have to use OpenAI instead of chat OpenAI. So all of this uh, would cost and it's important to keep track of what's the cost right now. So that's it for this video. Thank you uh, for watching. See you in the next one.